You are watching the Plant Services Fundamental video series, Fundamentals of EAM and CMMS. This video is brought to you by our sponsor, IFS. More information on IFS will be provided later on. You can also find company and product information provided in the information section below. The cornerstone of any sound assets management, reliability, or maintenance strategy is the Computerized Maintenance Management System, or CMMS. The main function of a CMMS is streamlining work order management, from scheduling employees, crews, and shifts, to reserving materials and tracking downtime. These systems also help optimize the utilization and availability of physical equipment like vehicles, machinery, communications, and plant infrastructures, with the asset registry at the heart of these data. Finally, a CMMS can be critical when it comes to knowledge transfer and compliance management. Documentation, repair manuals, and media, which capture maintenance procedures, can be stored in a CMMS and associated with corresponding assets. A CMMS also can make compliance tracking easier by generating responses and reports tailored to the demands of a specific audit, or offering central reporting for safety, health, and environmental concerns. Widely recognized reliability industry expert George Williams of Reliability X recently outlined 10 tips to follow in order to get the most out of your CMMS software. Many experts tilt their focus more to design and implementation, the lengthy first step in deploying a CMMS. Williams recommends an equal focus on implementation and utilization, as the most time users spend with their CMMS is in the utilization phase. Implementation Principle 1. Do not be in a hurry when it comes to selection. Manufacturing teams have literally hundreds of CMMS options to choose from. The ultimate decision may have lasting effects, as you will likely be with this system a minimum of five years. The selection process should include a Request for Information, or RFI, where you ask general questions regarding functionality that can help screen out systems and vendors that do not meet your requirements. You also should create a scripted demonstration for your potential vendors to follow as part of their demos, one that is tailored to the specific needs and expectations of your group. Implementation Principle 2. Know your needs. Teams involved in CMMS selection need to ensure the functionality of the system meets the needs of each team member helping them to see value and make business decisions. A User Requirement Specification, or URS, is a document that captures the specific needs of the business, what capabilities must exist, or what information should be required on different record types. It is recommended to have a URS in place before final vendor selection, even though the URS can and will evolve over initial design and implementation. Also, vendors can use the URS to help develop the statement of work and provide a more accurate estimate of costs. Implementation Principle 3. Take advantage of the opportunity. An upgrade or change of CMMS provides a great opportunity to improve both data quality as well as the processes associated with work execution. Improving data quality includes things like ensuring your equipment hierarchy is accurate, fixing your naming and numbering conventions, and standardizing your value lists. In addition to data quality, an upgrade or new CMMS implementation is also a great time to assess best practice processes for managing maintenance work. Ensure that the new system contains enough work order statuses to align to your business process. Implementation Principle 4. Standardize what should be standardized. To ensure clean data reporting, value lists such as statuses, equipment classes, or priorities should be standardized. This is particularly important if you have multiple locations. Implementation Principle 5. If you want it, require it. Data quality will have a direct impact on your reporting, performance tracking, and deeper data analysis. If you expect downtime to be tracked for breakdown maintenance, require it. 
if you need failure reporting to be utilized, required, and so on. Assurance of available data will provide greater data points and should improve accuracy. From implementation, we move to tips for utilization. Utilization Principle 1. Live training is key. Online training modules where users must enter information and follow along are effective for step-by-step -step instruction, but do not allow for questions or deeper dives into functional capabilities. Where possible, users should be trained live in a replicated environment. Utilization Principle 2. Listen to the users. When users provide feedback, be sure to communicate the status and where the request sits in the priority list. Getting a handle on their needs will provide the basis for business process changes, system changes, or even tickets back to the CMMS vendor if the system is not performing as designed. If requests are seemingly ignored, users will stop providing feedback. Utilization Principle 3. Do not skimp on system administration. Someone needs to keep the volume of administrative work altogether. An unmanaged system will become frustrating for users as they weed through records that should no longer exist or cannot find records that should exist. Utilization Principle 4. All work must be a work order. This is probably one of the more difficult principles to achieve. It's also the most important as all other data in the CMMS is inaccurate if you are not accounting for all work. Unless all work is accounted for, the data is skewed. Worse, if technicians are tapped on the shoulder to perform work and a work order is not generated, then that data is lost. Utilization Principle 5. Track all costs. Tracking all costs will allow for more accurate lifecycle costing models and will help integrate these models into your capital replacement strategy. Costs associated with a technician's time are common. Parts costs are also common, but are sometimes lacking if the use of P cards is allowed or is just too frequent. IFS Cloud, one single enterprise software solution that delivers class-leading solutions across service management, enterprise resource planning, and enterprise asset management. Features include cloud choice portability and parity, twice yearly updates to latest capabilities and improvements, embedded innovation to open and connected digital transformation, and increased speed to value through features and flexibility focused on your industry. Learn more at ifs.com slash us slash ifs dash cloud.